Okay, we're, we're over here at my buddy's house and uh, all finished with his truck. I thought the guys on YouTube might get a kick out of kind of seeing the final result. Uh, got the front bumper on. This is actually, we think it's a forerunner bumper. Um, got it off Craigslist along with the valence and then I sprayed the valence with some uh, duple color trim paint that came out real nice. Uh, if you saw the previous video I was showing the grill, how it hooked up, that turned out real nice. But you can see the truck looks really nice. And uh, somebody on the channel had asked about how exactly I wired up that coil. So I ha see if my buddy can pop the hood here and on the hood last there. And uh, let me just show real quick what's up with how we did this coil. And to, to say he's excited about the truck is an understatement, right? Understatement. <laughs> um, so with the with regard to doing the larger wires and everything, you got to dump that kind of square coil. And so this is kind of this video will kind of show a little bit more of a of a in-depth look at exactly what we did or what I did um, to get this functioning. So the igniter that came on the 94, it it will function um, with this type of coil. So its job is mainly the, the 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 induction pickup on the distributor tells it when to uh you know fire the coil for mounting uh i was able to utilize the factory holes for the original bracket without having to drill or, or change anything uh, and i used the m60 millim or the 60 millimeter uh coil or a uh, evil energy bracket for the coil all I had to do was kind of just slot the hole a little bit and and reduce the the ear so you can see it doesn't go out as far as when we originally got it so I just kind of drilled a hole in closer here and then I, I believe I slotted this hole if I'm not mistaken uh, oh sorry down here yeah, slotted that hole and then I got some of the hard anodizing off so it could make an electrical connection to the ground and then just tucked the little uh, resistor ballast thing whatever this is here under here so that worked real well and basically what that left <coughs> excuse me, was how to approach mounting this original igniter and how are we going to run the leads over to the coil so let me talk about that so there this was an existing body hole here a uh, six millimeter hole so all i had to really do was to catch this side over here i just had to pop uh, an m6 stainless riv nut uh, into this so i just basically mounted this guy got my alignment correct and then center punched that and I put a riv nut and I'll put links in the video to the specific riv nuts that I use as well as the specific uh, tool that I use so then that left basically the issue of we had to get the 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 positive and negative coil trigger kind of stuff wired up so I just used some heat shrink tubing and went down and then I just this was like a bracket off some something from the truck I don't know it was I think it was a factory deal. I just mounted it there and used it to hold the wire. And then I just utilized some heat shrink and some uh, rubberized uh, fiberglass insulation and built my own little harness. <clears throat> and then you can see, as far as the igniter is concerned, you've just got two wires that went to the original coil. You've got a black one and kind of a beige one. Well, the beige one goes to the the positive on the coil and i just used some little uh eyelets there you know heat shrink kind of those guys and i, I crimped them and soldered them in and then the the black one goes to the negative and that's it away you go and then just run you know the standard coil wire over to the center of the distributor cap so it it made a really clean installation and fired up first time no problem um and it, it I kind of like the idea that we didn't have to you know butcher up the original factory kind of mounting holes just had to have one little extra riv nut and it allowed everything to go in there you know real clean and it, it pretty much looks factory so 
really pleased with how that all turned out um, so for the guy on the channel in the comments there who was asking like hey well, how do you do the coil wires and what, what's up exactly with how did you do that bracket uh, this video kind of gives you the rundown on that so in addition to just kind of showing the, the finished product of my friend's truck which uh, the motor run oh, why don't you fire the motor up yeah. show how it idles it just idles really smooth I have a really nice. Yeah. And uh, mainly I just want to kind of cover that. Uh, so, and now that it's kind of doing its thing, you can see it. I do very smooth. And I think I've got the idle probably up around 850 here. Anyways, uh, that's kind of a wrap on my buddy's truck. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the few videos covering kind of everything we that we ended up doing. It just really turned turned out beautifully, I think. And uh, had a good time doing kind of the coil about repairing the sandblasting and, and all that kind of stuff and uh, doing the grill and stuff so anyways uh thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoyed the videos if you got any questions on anything feel free to use the comment section below